The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is one of the most critically acclaimed RPGs to release in the last several years, and with the new updates coming to current consoles and PC, there's never been a better time to jump in. Whether this is your first time with A Tale of Geralt of Rivia, or you're just looking for a refresher to hone your witchering ways, here are 12 things you should know that The Witcher 3 doesn't tell you. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. By any metric, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is a massive game, even before considering the lengthy expansions. You'll first be dropped in White Orchard, which is only a fraction of the size of the full map. There's tons to do there, but the game is so much bigger than that, so try not to get stuck and burn out. If you feel yourself getting bored, advance the main quest to open a wide new world. Although keep in mind that some side quests need to be finished before leaving, and you'll get a pop-up saying that you failed if this is the case. Thanks, previous autosaves. Look around. Trouble brewing. Witcher's potions aren't for humans. Even if you've made it through the early hours of the Wild Hunt without needing to become a master alchemist, potions, oils, and eventually decoctions are a hugely useful part of a Witcher's toolkit. Even if you spec out most of your skill points into combat and magic, you absolutely shouldn't write off alchemy as unworthy of your time, as some are especially useful in combat. The Black Blood Potion, which you can find for free in this castle near Novigrad, returns damage from vampires and necrophages who hit Geralt, and the upgraded version adds a nasty knockback effect. Regardless of whether you want to brew complex potions like that or just whip up some health juice, we've got a full guide to The Witcher 3's alchemy system over on IGN. Speaking of potions and where you can put your skill points, if you find that Geralt isn't leveling up quite the way you would like, there is an item called the Potion of Clearance that you can consume to reclaim all your skill points and rebuild your character. This potion can be purchased from a few different vendors, including this merchant in Novograd, Welcome back. This merchant in Skellige, Welcome to the Sacred Grove. And Sorceress Kira Metz. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. If you're more a trader than a craftsman, be sure you're selling your goods to the right vendor. Certain merchants will pay more for items they can resell themselves. Armorers have better prices on armor and clothing, blacksmiths pay more for weapons, food has a higher value with innkeeps and taverns, and so on and so forth. They even say the hangovers are wine but get so lucky. The crossbow is often lamented as one of Geralt's weaker tools, but other than being a good way to hit flying enemies, it's literally your only line of defense underwater, and can even insta-kill certain creatures that will take quite a few hits while on land. Geralt is a nimble and powerful boy, but if you try to strike one too many times in a row, the enemy will just attack through your combos. Your best bet is to hack away a few times before backing off and letting them swing at air. And speaking of evading your enemies... Rolling covers a vast distance in The Witcher 3 and can get you out of danger quickly, but time your dodges right and invulnerability frames will allow Geralt to pass through enemy attacks without taking damage and keep the distance close for a counterattack. Roll when you need to clear some space or cast some defensive signs, but stick with dodge to help keep up the melee pressure. You get a brief tutorial on how to use signs in combat early on, but there's a lot more nuance to it than you might expect. Quinn, for instance, might be the Witcher's shield, but it can also be used to cleanse certain status effects. Anything that deals Geralt's damage over time, poison, bleeding, burning, etc., all those effects can be removed by casting Quinn. Also, if you're someone who likes to use Igni a lot, be careful when you use the Ard sign. It can extinguish flames, so avoid using it if you've just set a group of unfortunate bandits alight. Fun fact, Geralt names all of his horses Roach, so I like to believe that every time you call this horse, it's actually a new one teleporting in from some far off dimension. <laughs> Regardless of my wonderful fanfic ideas, Roach will often spawn right behind you when you call him if you're faced away, rather than slowly amble his way towards you if he's in your line of sight. So don't be afraid to turn your back on him. I'm sure he doesn't bite. It's probably fine. <laughs> Come on, Roach. While Witcher 3 does tell you that you can hold the canter button to keep your horse trotting along a mapped road or path, what it leaves out is that you can also do this while galloping and it won't drain any of your horse's stamina. You'll still have to manage it while galloping over open fields or uneven terrain, but once you make it onto a road, you're literally on easy street. If you're in mounted combat or riding through the woods and attacked by monsters, Roach might start to get a little panicky. Thankfully, you can use the Axie sign to calm your steed so that you don't get tossed from the saddle. If, on the other hand, you're not mounted and your enemies are, you can use Axie on their mount to knock them off their high horse and onto even footing. 
Are you trying to... Someone's coming. <laughs> Geralt faces death every day, so he often likes to keep his romantic trysts casual. But sometimes this can backfire if you romance too many ladies in the same playthrough. I don't want to say much more for fear of spoiling some memorable scenes, but if you want to be doubly sure you're not crossing the wrong woman, be sure to check out our romance guide on IGN.com for more details. I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? And there you have it, 12 things The Witcher 3 doesn't tell you. Thanks, bunches. What are some things you wished you knew for your first playthrough? Feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and for everything else gaming, keep it right here on IGN.